Five ever nine. Hi Frank. So I'm recording now. Uh, Great. Well, the first thing is I have to apologise. I'm drinking red wine at this moment. It's only two pound eighty a litre, but I it's hit in the spot. Okay. Well, Frank, uh, you don't need to say in this conversation at any time, uh, as I already told you, or anything like that. Just tell me as if you were telling me for the first time with you. Right. Can you tell me what happened to you? Hey, when do you want me to start? From yesterday afternoon? I rang you from the ferry terminal somewhere around half past five. Uh, to say I was travelling. I was waiting in the car, I'd try and get on the ferry. I then rang my builder friend on the island who told me, he I'd only seen him a couple of hours before, that um, his wife had just come back from the community shop where I'd been talking uh, to the two people that ran the shop at length earlier on in the day, that they said that the police are coming to the island to arrest Frank. So Colin wished me luck. I tried to drive onto the ferry. They refused to let me take my car on the ferry. I decided to leg it and get on as a passenger, a foot passenger, with as much as I could carry, which would happen to be a rucksack full of alcohol and my bag with some correspondence. I got on the ferry. I travelled to Kirkwall. Did they, the you, guy, did they tell you why they wouldn't let you on the ferry? Th they said there wasn't room. Go and have a look at the um, car uh, parking space. Uh, there, there were lots of cars on the ferry, but hey, I didn't actually trouble myself about that. I got on as a foot passenger. They could have fitted me, and I'm sure they fit other people on who just turn up as well. They didn't. Okay, I asked the ticket guy, who's a nice guy, have the police come onto the island. He looks at me a little bit interested and says no. But hey, yeah, I said, I know it's an odd question, but hey, you know, I ask odd questions. We have a good time chatting on the chatting on the ferry now and then. I buy two bacon sandwiches. I mean, it's a long journey, a bit rough, but it's okay. I come off the ferry expecting anything. I walk up, and there's only about three foot passengers on the ferry. There are four police constables with, with masks on, three guys and a woman. Um... They approach me they and... Had, when you say they had masks on, what sort of mask? Balaclava? A mask? Uh, yeah, you're just scarves over the head. They insist when I ask them, it's because of the cold. Anyway, they're local, they say. They're local. They've had information about my medical condition. No questioning at all. They are taking me. They're putting me in the van. They are arresting me. I say, where are we going? We're going to the hospital. There is only one hospital, Balfour Hospital in Girtwall. I said, well, I had got information you were coming to the island to arrest me. But hey, you're obviously here. Well, I was coming to see you anyway. So they put me in a locked van. I have to ask to have the light put on. They put me in the, in the prisoner bit of it. Um, they're very nice. They're very polite. I point out to them, yeah, I've already been arrested for something I didn't do last month, um, where where I was charged with a waiting trial for harassing somebody I didn't harass who hasn't even fucking complained and is not a witness, who happens to be my daughter, who I haven't seen for 20 years, and I'm writing to under a court order three times a year. Okay, so, let's try and think this through logically. Did, they, you, ask, did you ask them why you've been arrested? Yes, they said because of medical information they received and they knew nothing else. What medical information? They didn't know what it was. Other than that, I was being arrested for mental health reasons. That's it. Summation. As far as I can remember, that's exactly... Do the police have the power... Yes, yes, they, they have the power to arrest somebody who's at risk to themselves or to others under the Mental Health Act and take them to a place of safety. The place of safety was bound for a hospital. I pointed out if they were going to put me, I mean, I was obviously in custody, but if they were going to put me on a secure unit, I was going to protest. I pointed out if I was going, I was not prepared to accept any medication without being fully assessed, without medication, prior, by a psychiatrist. 
I said this before, we, as we were getting to the hospital, I said this. And I've maintained it throughout. I'm in exactly the same position as I've been for quite a few weeks now. People are trying to get me to accept, in inverted commas, sedation before I'm assessed. Um, so anyway, I come here, I get told I'm going to be assessed. I assume because of the wording, it's going to be by a psychiatrist. It turns out, after an hour and a half, it's by a local GP in the presence of a trainee uh, mental health nurse and a mental health nurse who witness. And I insist it's in the company of two of the police officers who have brought me here. Who I have the numbers of and who are totally willing to give any evidence at any future trial or tribunal. And who actually that? know where I'm coming from. Can you give me those numbers now? I don't have them to, to hand, Joe, but I've got them written down. They say, I mean, we've actually got a deal that when this shit all settles down, I'm going in there and buying a drink for these guys. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, would you go to go and get where, I mean, where, where, are, where is it? I mean, you're in a, locked in a cell, aren't you, or locked in a room? I'm not locked in a cell. It's in a room with the door closed. There we go, a second, Joe. I'll try and find them. Carry on asking me questions while I'm looking. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, when um, they offered, when they said that they were going to give you medication... Oh, that was a little bit late. I was told, I mean, I made it absolutely clear by questions and answers that... Um, that there was no way I was taking medication unless forced to do so. However, what would happen, as I advise women particularly, but men too, if rape is inevitable, do all you can to keep yourself as intact, as uninjured as possible. That is the line I'm going to take. I will try and protect my physical and mental integrity as far as possible, and I'm pointing out that exactly, exactly, I am seriously frightened by what Haloperidol is going to do to me. They're, they've, they've tried to they've coerce me into, into taking exactly what I was forced to take, forcibly medicated with 20 years ago, which is Haloperidol. I said, what about side effects tablets? Like, because Haloperidol has some serious side effects. It's called the Haloperidol hop. That's what users call it. They said, if you want them, ask for them. Wow. Wow. So they were going to give it to me without even fucking offering me side effects tablets. I know how fucked you get with that stuff. And you are totally incapable of producing an honest, fair, and I would quote, sane presentation assessment. I know this game. I've been here before. Once they give you this stuff, you cannot remember, you cannot operate, you have no capacity to coordinate. What did they tell you they were going to do with you? They are going to fly me, ASAP, which hasn't happened yet, to Aberdeen to see a psychiatrist, already suitably medicated and sedated. There is no alternative to flying because that's the way they do it. I point out I have never flown in my life. I am absolutely terrified of flying, that flying will probably, possibly, actually result in a severe deterioration of my mental health just because I'm terrified of flying. I offer to even pay to be handcuffed in an ambulance all the way on the vehicle ferry to Aberdeen, which I was planning to travel on at quarter to 12 last night anyway. No deal, no negotiation, no alternative. Next question, please, Joe. You're still there, for Christ's sake. I am, yes. Have you found these? Um, have you found these? I'm, I'm still looking, Joe. I'm still looking. Right. I'm still looking. Oh, Carry on talking. Sort of it might be in my wallet. It might be in my wallet. Sort of Carry on. It's, it's just the general hospital which covers the whole of Orkney. There is um, an elderly ward, which I'm on a side room on, and they shut the door, and they've been keeping an eye on me through the window um, since about midnight last night. And have you, have you said, can I leave? 
Oh, absolutely. I've, I've repeatedly said, and throughout, I watch the lead immediately. I've got a ferry to catch. I've got a hostel to stay in, up to catch, to catch the ferry tomorrow. Um, I am, I am, I have had, I've, I've said my liberty, my human rights have been totally denied. They say, you're under a 72-hour order. We can do exactly as we please. What is this 72-hour order, Frank? It's a three-day order which a, a, a nurse, apparently, can actually issue on information after quotes, unquote, assessment. She says she claims to have the total power to do that without reference to anybody else. Did you ask what the information might be? I actually said, I want immediately, immediately or as soon as possible, all that you are doing to me, the section, the reasons, what you intend to do with me, in writing. I asked for that at, at before 11 o'clock last night. I have had nothing since. Did, did she, did anyone tell you what the information that they hold against you might be? No, I have asked for it. They say they have just received information. Everything, I've actually cooperated as far as my assessment history, as far as possible. They wanted jot and tittle details of what happened 20 years ago. I said, look at my notes. I am no way, I'm in a totally different place to where I was 20 years ago. I am not going to disturb my head by remembering in detail seriously unhappy memories. I've got those numbers now, Joe. Could you give me those numbers, please? It's PC, I think it's 433 without my glasses, Mackenzie. And PC 365 Christie. And those, those in, in England, uh, they would have divisions like J Division or whatever, I think. Um, it's, I think it's Highland, Highland. It might just be Orkney Constabulary. Oh, no, it's, 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 it's Police Scotland anyway. There is a, just one Chief Constable who, surprise, surprise, yesterday morning, I got returned um, with an error note on the on the civil claim I've got um, I've got uh, filed. I've tried to file against the chief constable. Hang on, I'm getting knocked on. Can you give me those?